Hi, I'm Brad with Art Cyclery, and uh, you're watching the Art Cyclery Vlogs. Today we're going to do a, um, a little more in-depth product review, and I want to take a look at the new Formula RO disc brakes. Let's take a look. Now, the Formula RO promises to be Formula's most powerful brake to date. Um, RO, the O stands for oval, and Formula was able to accomplish this power um, through a few different key technologies. Um, uh, not the least of which is the new oval pistons. And if you can see here, the outer um, outer wall here is a circle, and then the housing or the caliper body is an oval shaped, and that's because the pistons on the inside are an oval. And just how big are these pistons? They're effectively about a 26 millimeter. Now that is two millimeters more or less bigger than the one brake which had 24 mil pistons but those were round. By going with an oval piston um, formula is able to get more of a quad piston um, like power out of a dual piston design. It's a forged body as all uh, high-end formula brakes are that allows them just to keep all the hydraulic advantage going into the pistons rather than pushing the caliper body around. And what this actually tests out to is a brake that's about 18% more powerful than Formula's the one brake. 18% um, that's kind of a lot especially considering the one was considered by all means the standard in the DH market for power. But uh, the one some thought didn't have great modulation. Formula has addressed that with the RO and the way they did that was they actually increased the uh, capacity, the fluid capacity of the overall brake. The RO has a lot more fluid running through it than the one. That also actually helps with heat dissipation. Um, the more fluid running through, you know, the, the more fluid it would take to heat up, the more it is easy for it to cool down. The master cylinder body is much larger to accommodate all the extra fluid. And um, on the inside, Formula actually went with a six port design. Um, in the master cylinder body as well as an aluminum master cylinder piston. What they're able to do there um, is to increase the fluid exchange. So the more, f that just means there's a lot more fluid running through the brake which also helps with that heat dissipation. Um, the more fluid you can move back up into the reservoir um, the quicker it's going to cool off. The formula's previous designs used a, uh, a radial master cylinder, but the RO actually uses a semi-radial. You can see the master cylinder piston is coming in quite actually like an angle this way. And they did that also to help increase the modulation. They found that that actually allowed a little bit more uh, lever control, a little bit better brake feel. Um, so another feature that's actually really cool and uh, along the same lines with the heat dissipation. On the inside here, you can see that the pistons are finned. What that allows is air to move um, behind the brake pads. Um, you couple that with the top loading design, so you have air able to move in front of the brake, move behind the pistons thanks to the fin design, and then move right out the back. It just cools off the brakes um, a lot, which is, a little, is how they're able to uh, keep the brakes from fading, um, especially a brake this powerful, um, heat buildup is going to be a real issue, so that's how they keep the heat down. Another aspect of what makes the RO and all formula brakes so good is the formula specific lines. Now, a lot of people don't pay much attention to the brake lines, but formula has, and um, through their own testing they've found that they're almost as good as Goodrich lines, which are a standard in the auto industry. Um, so it just means they're able to handle a lot of pressure. And without expanding, and that's how Formula gets some of its really, really good brake feel. Um, now standard is the FCS feeling control system, as well as the tool-free reach adjust in the in the brake lever, as well as um, the flip-flop design, and um, which allows you to you know you'll run if you wanted to go moto style, you can run the rear brake on the left or the right. Lastly, Formula, you can see here. Your bleed port is at the very, very top of the master cylinder. This makes, makes it super easy to bleed. Um, you're not going to have to worry about any air being above that or anywhere else in the system. Just simply plug your syringes at each end and push the fluid through. You've got um, a completely airless bleed in the brakes and the brakes are just going to work great. Super easy, super simple. It's one of the things that makes these formula brakes uh, so nice to work with. That's it for this week's vlog. I'm Brad with Art Cyclery. If you have any questions about the Formula RO or 
um, any of the products we sell at Arts, um, you're welcome to email me, brad at artscyclery, or info at artscyclery.com. And thanks for watching this week's vlog.